to split a crowd. Um, I think back in my club promoting days, my partner said I would have been quite pleased with this time. So thank you for coming. Um, I am uh, I'm humbled and honored uh, to be afforded this opportunity tonight uh, by the Marfan Foundation to introduce Dr. Abe DeAnda with this year's Hero with Heart Award. Uh, last time I spoke in front of this many people was as the best man at my uh, brother's wedding. It was about five years ago. And that was an easy task because I just told jokes about him all night. I'll be sure not to do that tonight, especially since I have an appointment with Dr. Deanne in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so before I tell you how I met Abe, I'd like to give you some of my family history. My father had two brothers who passed away of aortic dissections at age 47 and 56. My father passed away at the age of 51 from aortic dissection when I was a senior in college. At the time of my father's passing, I remember the doctors telling my brother and I, you guys should be on standby. I never believed that I would head down the same path as him, especially not at the age of 35. First starting my life with my baby boy, Preston, who was only one and a half at the time. But in October 2011, I needed surgery, and that's when I met tonight's honoree, Abe Deandra. Only with his surgical expertise, continuous positivity, and confidence, in my outcome that I survived three open heart surgeries in two weeks in a coma. Throughout this ordeal, which included many serious complications, Dr. DeAnda remained positive and would always have the same response. He's gonna be fine. Even while the other doctors looking after me and boy, were there a lot of them. Seemed to lack the confidence with my outcome. Dr. DeAnda remained consistent in his message to my friends and my family. I know how grateful my family was for his constant positivity and true, real belief that I was going to turn out okay. And after six weeks, I walked out of the hospital. Thank you. 